Hey guys, it has been so long since I've done a video, I'm really sorry. Um, but look what I got. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is meant to be a mini fee, so it's going to be interesting. So yeah, I've had like the worst luck with the Royal Mail and Parcel Force as well, like ever. I, it's just ridiculous. This package was meant to be delivered at like 1 o'clock today. Oh yeah, it wasn't delivered because my flatmate was waiting here for it. And they were like, oh yeah, we attempted to deliver. I was like, no, you didn't. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a ranting mood. I'm hoping this girl's going to brighten my day because I really need it. Anyway, start the box opening and I'll tell you the rest of the stuff. Basically, um, the little rabbit I ordered from a uh, paper uh, Sakura may be lost forever and I may not get her. Because basically, since she was meant to be delivered over the Easter holidays, um, she... Um, ended up reaching the 18 day mark because she didn't arrive when she should have and um, basically I went and tried to pick her up last Saturday and she wasn't in the post office so I had to speak to the manager and they basically said it looks like she may have been sent back to China but we don't know and um, I contacted the sender and they said uh, they haven't received her and she should have been sent on about the 18th of um, last month so basically I think she's lost unless she magically appears at some point in this week or something. So basically I'm going to get compensation hopefully from Royal Mail because I'm pretty angry with them because that's a limited edition item and they've lost it. So I'm not in the best mood. And also my uh, Chloe has went walkabouts. I don't know where she is. I don't even know what country she's in because the tracking stopped working. So not amused. So yeah, I've had not, not a very good time with uh, delivery companies right now and my uni work is really stressful and I'm pretty stressed out this week. So I'm hoping this girl is going to make me happier. Oh my god, it's loads of paper. Ah, Lots of Korean newspaper, my flatmate will have fun reading that. <laughs> She's back from Korea now. So there's a box here and there's a little card. This is the first time I've ordered directly from Fairyland, so this is really exciting. This is the only way I was going to get her. It's a huge box for nothing, really. So, oh, this must be the, this is the little outfit. So the outfit itself gets its own box. That's quite fun. So. That's her little ray gun. That's the bits on the shoes. I'll show it when it's all kind of out and ready. Um, that must be her wig. Her little case with the attachment. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be a long video, I can tell. It's already at the three minute mark. And that's the rest of her outfit with the little shoes. I never knew it had its own little box. That's quite cute. Okay. <sighs> it's the rose! Ah! <laughs> Ordered in December, finally arrives the 2nd of May. This is good. So, this is the box. This is the first time I've seen a real life Fairyland box because I've always liked this box cheap from the like, second hand market. So, this is pretty exciting. And I love the fact it looks like a book. This is really cool. Okay, so. How do you open it? <laughs> Slides open. Okay, so. Ah, she's so pretty! Oh my god, she's so cute! Okay, so it comes with the manual. And oh, this is the new thing we started doing. It's the certificate of um, the doll and sort of to say that it's legitimate, which is cool. To stop, you know, any problems with resale. So it tells you all of the, oh, that new resin smell. It smells good. Um, oh my god, sorry. I'm doing a bit giddy. Oh, they must have given me the special event stuff, even though I didn't actually ask for it. It's just cool. I can't complain. It's free stuff. So I've got these cute, adorable little boots, which have little wings on them, which are really cute. And the little punching gloves. 
and more hand with magnets. So this is awesome. Like, there's so much stuff. I love it. Okay. <laughs> My son is to come and be like, what the hell happened? Okay. 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 So, it also comes with a sleeping face plate. It's the first time I've had a double sleeping face plate. So this is kind of exciting. So, I'll probably do a face on her. It's really cute. I really like it. It's actually really cute. <laughs> so exciting. And here she is, packaged up. Ah! It's so cute. Okay, okay. I've got to calm down. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm just so giddy. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh, she's made me a really good mood. Her little face, and she comes with a company face up because it was part of the deal, really. Oh, so happy! This is what I needed today. I knew. Oh, I needed BGGs again in my life. I feel like I've been neglecting my my boys and my girls and all that kind of stuff. A bit dusty. It's got quite big seam lines compared to the ones I've had. Four. And she's a wee bit dusty from the velvet on the inside of the box, but I can clean her up a little bit. Okay, let's get her dressed and assembled. Oh, I needed this today. I needed it. Um, I've not heard any other words from about my new boy. Um, I assume that dolls owner just being a bit lagging behind as per usual, which is fine. Um kind of to be expected when they had the big event thing that went on. Um, so I don't know when I'm going to be getting him. Um, as you know, well no actually you don't. I, well, no I'm sure I said. I ordered the new um, Dolls, um, Fairyland girl um, who will not be sent out until probably like January of this year, which is fine. And she's on a split because I just want the outfit. Um, so yeah, that's still to come. I've got the to boy order, which is not going to be out for a while. I assume this is for the leg. I need to get a picture up of her. Hang on a sec, because I don't know where all these bits are meant to go. It's such a it's such a like bitty costume. Hang on. But yeah, she's the rose. I was tempted to get the cat as well, but I decided to just go for the rose because the rose is adorable. And she's the little bunny rabbit, and she just looks really cute. And this outfit is incredible. Like, so pretty. Okay. It's been a long day. I'm overly tired. But come on, hold up, please. And I'd love to hear what everyone, how everyone else is doing. Um, I probably should tell you the name I've given her, which I think I probably will keep. Is Her name is going to be Tuki, which is, if you guys don't know, I'm a bit obsessed with Korea. And so, yeah, I've called her Tuki because Tuki means rabbit in Korean. Because I am cool like that. <laughs> and I thought it would be quite cute and really good fun. So that's what I decided to go for. So, okay, so this is what's on the glitter box here. So this girl is basically going to be my, um, kind of like my little adopted little sister for my Shushu. Um, because I'm kind of bulking out the storyline for them just now. Um, basically there's a kind of war going on in, in their homeland. And, um, sh um my Shushu girl, uh, Jeanette, basically took in Tuki um, because she was separated from her family and they they never found Tuki again. So she's basically her adopted uh, sister. And um, my new boy coming in, who I'm still deciding on the name, I'm kind of going for something like Arthur or Tristan or Dorian. No, sorry, Dorian's my other boy. There's a couple of names kind of like that, that I'm going for. Um, and she's going to be kind of adopted into the family 
he's the boy for the love triangle with my Shushu and my um, Miji. Because he's kind of like, oh, but I see her as a sister, but at the same time, I don't know if that's how I only see her now, and all that kind of stuff. So he has his little dilemmas. Which is always fun, and my flatmate told me off when I told her that I was giving them um, <laughs> a sort of bad um, love triangle thing. She wasn't impressed. Oh my god, I can't even get the hands off. <laughs> At least I know that they're not going to come off randomly, which is always helpful. Here we go. But I'm glad to see that I got my money's worth, because this is the first time I bought from Fairyland. It's a full set doll, and she was quite expensive, um, even though she's completely worth it. She's so cute. Um, but I'd never bought a full set doll from Fairyland because of, of the price and stuff. But now that I see I actually got so much more stuff with it, I just think that's awesome and really, really good. So I'm mega happy that I actually went ahead and did this. Um, okay, how do I get this one? So this is kind of a rambling video. Because I really want you to see her when she's all made up. Because she's got the little cage skirt and stuff. It's just so cute. Oh, I'm so happy. I was worried that I was going to have to like go down to the post office and pick her up and stuff. But I'm so glad I didn't. She's made my day. So many layers to this outfit, oh my gosh. But yeah, my uni work's been a bit crazy just now. Um I'm kinda I'm basically on a management project. It's my first time doing management and it's a bit kinda overwhelming with how much stuff you have to do and I've just had a hand in today for a Korean I was uh, doing Korean as part of my course. Um and that was a bit kinda overwhelming as well. And I've got a tutu to make by the end of next week and I've got other assessments and I've got to have a, a website all made up and ready to show by the end of this month and it's just a bit kind of crazy so I've not really had time to spend with my dolls, not really. I got some new stuff that I probably should have shown you but I just never got around to it. Um, oh that's so cute. Look at that. She's so precious. I absolutely adore her. Um, Emma's probably going to come home soon, so you'll probably get to see Emma as well. Um, <laughs> Sorry, this is taking a lot longer than I expected. It'll be worth it, I promise, because she's really cute. And she's even got these little belt buckles to put around her wrist as well. Just so many bits to this outfit, it's just amazing. That's the one thing I just I love about um, Fairyland's um, full sets, is that they just have so many little bits to them. And they're just amazing. Like, that's the whole reason I really went for this doll. And also the fact she's adorable, um, was the fact that she, you know, she comes with so much, and I mean it was limited edition, so I kind of have to. I'm just being right close now, because otherwise I'm going to be here all night, and you guys will probably have better things to do. Hopefully this weekend I'll get to actually do some doll stuff because I've kind of allocated my time properly this week and things weren't as bad as I thought. I was meant to be in 9 till 9 every single day this week, but um, things didn't turn out that way. Which was good. That's what I want. It's the most gorgeous eyes. Little brown eyes. <laughs> okay, bit next. And we'll go for a wig, and I think that will be nearly it. Promise. I think she's pretty much going to live in this outfit just because it's it's too damn cute. 
not to. It's just uber, uber, uber cute. And it didn't take as long as I thought because I've heard that sometimes Fairyland's orders have been like really, really badly behind. But compared to how bad I thought it was going to be, I'd say hers was pretty, pretty good. Oh, you're so adorable! You're so tiny! I'm so happy I ordered her. <laughs> I really am. Especially today, this is so easy for this. Crazy white wig. I seem to have a lot of dolls that end up with like white wigs or grey wigs. Seems to be the kind of general the general colour scheme of doll my dolls just now. I'm also gonna do a face up on my new girl um, but I think I'm just gonna just get a body and have her as my cosplay anime girl. Because that's that seems more logical. I'm definitely going to need to tame this wig and spend some time with it because it's massive just there. <laughs> okay. Rabbit ears. Right, how do you work? This is very awkward. Because it's so tiny. All the hair caught in it. The face up is absolutely gorgeous, though. This is the first time I've had like a default face up from Fairyland. Um, she's going to be one of my very few uh, characters that has her own sort of default face up. Because most of the time I do them. I hope they do more steampunk styled um, ones with Fairyland. I really like them, which is why I went for the Red Riding Hood as well. Um, cause I love that style. They should do a whole series of just different kind of fairy tale characters and stuff. That would be really cool. Cause I don't know about the new sculpt though, and I don't know about the new boy bodies either. I kind of like them in some ways because they're just so different from the previous ones. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. See, this video is really running over, I'm sorry. Okay, nearly there, I promise. I'm just going to put on our little big caps. I don't know how they're meant to really attach. So they're gonna get painted. I'll just do them properly. Okay, so this is my rose. This is Tuki. Oops. That's her. Just there. And she's got the little ray gun as well, and the little face mask. But I'm gonna cut this video off because you're probably sick of the see here my voice. But I will be back really soon with another update video and probably another video about Tookie because she's just too cute not to. Anyway, take care guys and I will chat to you all really, really soon. Bye!